Hi everyone, this is Chandan and welcome to Channel Logics. Hope all you guys are preparing well and staying safe at your home. If you are new to our channel and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you will be getting notification once the video is uploaded. And if you like our videos, don't forget to share our videos with all your friends and family members preparing for competitive exams. If you are looking for Telugu videos, then subscribe to our Telugu channel. We have provided link in the description. And if you want to download free PDF materials, you can join our Telegram group. We have provided our Telegram group link in the description. So in this video, we are going to discuss questions from topic ages. Actually, ages is one of the simplest topic. And truly speaking, 95% of questions from topic ages can be answered without using your pen and paper. Yes. Without using your pen and paper, 95% of questions can be solved very, very easily in just fraction of seconds. I am going to share the wonderful technique where you can solve 95% of questions from topic ages without using your pen and paper. So just watch the video completely and you're going to get complete idea how to solve questions from ages without using your pen and paper. Okay. And this is very important topic and from this topic you are going to get questions frequently in every competitive exam. Whatever the examination you are going to get, whether it is bank exam or SSC exam or railway or defense or CAT or AFCAT examination, whatever the examination may be. Definitely you are going to get questions from topic ages. Okay. Look here, here we have a question. The ages of A and B are presently in the ratio 3 ratio 5. 9 years ago this ratio will become 12 ratio 23. What is the present age of A? So we are supposed to say what is the present age of A? And don't forget in this video, I am not going to discuss complete concept. I am going to share you smart approaches to solve questions in examination point of view. Okay. Now look here. We are supposed to say present age of A. Actually, this question can be solved in several ways. First, what generally most of the students do? I am going to show that observe carefully. What most of the students will do is they will take present ages as 3x, 5x. Yes or no? Present ages 3x, 5x. Next question said 9 years ago, this ratio will become 12 ratio 23. 9 years ago means I have to subtract. Yes or no? 9 years ago means I have to subtract. If present age is 3x, 9 years ago means it should be 3x minus 9. If present age is 5x means 9 years ago means it should be 5x minus 9. 9 years ago, what is the ratio? Ratio is 12 ratio 23. Yes. Now what we have to do? We have to do cross multiplication. Once we do cross multiplication, we will come to know the value of x. Once we know the value of x, then we can say a's age and b's age also. Yes. Now, this is how most of the students do in examination. This is one way to solve the question. Okay. One more way. One more way to solve the question is observe carefully. Present age ratio is what? Present age ratio is 3 ratio 5. Yes or no? Present ages ratio is 3 ratio 5. 9 years ago, this ratio will become 12 ratio 23. 9 years ago, ratio is 12 ratio 23. Now observe here, most of the students, they will try to do with parts. When they are trying to do with parts, look here, what is the difference here? 3, 12 difference is nothing but 9. Okay. Next, similarly, if you observe here, 5, 23, what is the difference? 5, 23 difference is nothing but 18. Okay. Now observe here, this is 9 parts. This is 18 parts, which means parts are not same. When parts are not same, we have to make them same. How to make them same? Just to take above difference. 3, 5 difference is what? 2. Next, take below difference. 12, 23 difference is what? 11. Take above difference, take below difference. And next, what you have to do is multiply above difference below. Multiply above difference below. Okay. Next, similarly, multiply below difference above. Now, once if you are going to do this, then automatically parts is going to become same. If you want, you can check. 3 into 11. Now this is going to be 33. 5 into 11. Now this is going to be 55. Okay. Similarly, observe here. Similarly, if you observe here, just a minute, this is 3 into 2. 
So if you observe here, 2 into 12, now this is going to be 24. 23 into 2, now this is going to be 46. Okay. Now observe here carefully. Once after getting the new ratios, you have to neglect old ratios. Once after getting new ratios, you can neglect old ratios. Now check whether the parts are same or not. Now observe here, 33, 24 means difference is going to be how many parts? 33, 24 means difference is going to be 9 parts. Yes. Similarly, 46, 55. 46, 55 means difference is going to be how many parts? 9 parts. Yes. Now observe here, parts are same. Yes. Parts are same. And this is nothing but present ratio. Yes. This is present ratio. This one is what? This is 9 years ago ratio. Which means difference in parts is 9 parts. Yes. Difference in parts is 9 parts. Difference in years is 9 years. Yes. Parts difference is 9 parts. Years difference is 9 years. So I can simply say 9 parts is equal to 9 years. Yes. If 9 parts is 9 years, we can say 1 part is equal to 1 year. If 1 part is 1 year, we need to know present age of A. Present age of A is nothing but 33 parts. So if 1 part is 1 year, 33 parts is going to be 33 years. So we can say answer for this question is going to be 33 years. Yes. Now, this is one way to solve the question. Even if you solve in this way, it is going to consume time in examination. Yes, we have one more way. Observe it carefully. One more way. And after this, I am going to share how to solve the question just by looking at the question. Just by looking at the question, how to solve ages questions very easily. Okay. Observe it carefully. One more method. One more method to solve this question is present ages ratio is what? Present age ratio is 3 ratio 5. Present age ratio 3 ratio 5. 9 years ago ratio will become 12 ratio 23. Yes. So 12 ratio 23 when 9 years ago. As it is 9 years ago minus 9 minus 9. Okay. Now what you can do is do cross multiplication. 3 into 23. What is 3 into 23? It is going to be 69. So 69 parts. 12 into 5. It is going to be 60. So this is going to be 60 parts. Now 69 parts, 60 parts means difference is going to be how much? 9 parts. So difference in terms of parts is 9 parts. Similarly, 12 into minus 9. Now this is nothing but minus 9 into 12. Okay. Similarly, minus 9 into 23. Minus 9 into 23. Minus 9 into 23. And you have to subtract. As you have to subtract, minus of minus means now this is going to be plus. Yes or no? So plus 9 into 23. Now observe here, just for the purpose of making calculation simple, what I am going to do is, I am going to take 9, uh, 9 common. If I take 9 common, this is going to be how much? 9 common, then it is going to be 23 minus 12. Yes or no? If I take 9 common, this is 9 into 23. 9 into 23 minus 9 into 12. You can write in this way. Yes or no? 9 into 23 minus 9 into 12. If you take 9 common, it will be 23 minus 12, which means 9 into 11. Now observe here. We got in terms of parts, 9 parts. 9 parts equal to 9 into 11. Now from this, if you observe, 9, 9 gets cancelled. So we can say 1 part equal to 11. If 1 part is 11, now we need to know the present age of A. Present age of A is going to be how many parts? Present age of A is 3 parts. If 1 part is 11, 3 parts will be 3 into 11. That is going to be 33. Yes. Now even this is going to consume a lot of time in examination. Then how to solve these type of questions very easily in examination. Observe carefully. What you can do is whenever you have questions based upon ages, what you can do is most of the time, 95% of time, you can solve these questions just by using option verification. Yes, just by applying option verification, you can solve these questions. But when you are applying option verification, you have to read the question carefully understand the question carefully and then you have to apply option verification okay now our requirement what is our requirement our requirement is present age of a whenever you are trying to apply option verification first of all you need to know what are the given options so given options are present age of a okay these are present age of a in the question it is very clearly said that a b present ratio is 3 ratio 5 which means a's present age is going to be 3 multiple 3 ratio 5 means 3 into something 3 into something means 3 multiple yes or no now is a 27 multiple of 3 yes sir. is 33 multiple of 3 yes sir. is 49 multiple of 3 no is 55 multiple of 3 no 
विच मीन्स आउट ऑफ फोर ऑप्शन टू ऑप्शन एलिमिनेटेड ओके नाउ वी हैव टू मोर ऑप्शन यू नीड नॉट वरी वी हैव स्टेटमेंट समथिंग ओके वी हैव एक्स्ट्रा स्टेटमेंट इन द क्वेश्चन रीड दट एक्स्ट्रा स्टेटमेंट नेक्स्ट नाइन इयर्स ए गो दिस रेशियो विल बिकम ट्वेल्व रेशियो ट्वेंटी थ्री विच मीन्स नाइन इयर्स बैक रेशियो वॉज गिवेन नाइन इयर्स बैक रेशियो ट्वेल्व रेशियो ट्वेंटी थ्री आई एम लुकिंग फॉर ए वाई मीन्स इन ऑप्शन आई हैव ए एज आई हैव ए दैट इज रीजन नाउ एस एज शुड बी मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेल्व एस एज शुड बी मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेल्व वेन नाइन इयर्स बैक नाइन इयर्स बैक इट शुड बी मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेल्व नाइन इयर्स बैक मीन्स आई नीड टू सप्रैक्ट नाइन यस फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सेवन इफ यू सप्रैक्ट नाइन दिस इज गोइंट बी हाउ मच 18 yes he is 18 multiple of 12 no so this is also going to be wrong answer yes why means 18 is not multiple of 12 now observe carefully out of four options three options eliminated which mean definitely i can say 33 is going to be my answer yes if you want you can verify also if you verify 9 years back means 33 minus 9 if you subtract 33 minus 9 it is going to be 24 now look is 24 multiple of 12 yes 24 is multiple of 12 so we can say answer is going to be 33 so 33 is going to satisfy the condition so you can solve either in this way or in this way or in this way or you can solve using option verification also when you are trying to solve question using option verification this question can be solved without using pen and paper but for all these techniques obviously you have to use pen and paper so that is the reason try to be always smart and unique in examination if you are smart and unique in examination then obviously you can save lot of time in examination just getting the mark is not important in how much time you are getting the mark it is very very important in competitive exams always you have to be smart always you have to be unique try to utilize the information given in the question properly if you are able to utilize the information given in the question properly then you can solve these type of questions very very easily almost 95% of questions from topic ages can be solved just by using option verification yes we can solve one more question look at this the respective ratio of the present age of a mother and daughter is 7 ratio 1 4 years ago the respective ratio of their age was 19 ratio 1 what will be the mother's age 4 years from now we are supposed to know mother's age 4 years from now so given options are mother's age after 4 years yes or no mother's age after 4 years now even now this question can be done using option verification if you want to verify option verification first you need to know what is the option we came to know that options are nothing but mother's age after 4 years now what is given in the question in the question it is said present age of mother daughter is 7 ratio 1 which means present age of mother should be multiple of 7 yes mother's present age should be multiple of 7 if i need to know mother's present age means i need to subtract 4 why means these ages are after 4 years after 4 years these are ages of mother if i need to know present age means i have to subtract 4 now subtract 42 minus 4 it is going to be 38 is 38 multiple of 7 no so this is wrong answer next 38 minus 4 that is going to be 34 is 34 multiple of 7 no wrong answer next 46 minus 4 it is going to be 42 yes is 42 multiple of 7 yes 42 is multiple of 7 so this can be our answer next 36 minus 4 it is going to be 32 yes now is 32 multiple of 7 no so this is wrong answer so i can simply say answer for this question is going to be 46 and look here these are the exact questions exact options that came in examination now so many students they will think like options are framed in such a manner where it is going to be a multiple no it's not framed by me these are the exact questions that came in examination if you want even you can try you can open the book and you can try questions whatever that came in ages 95% of questions definitely you can solve just by looking at the question itself yes it's true if you want you can try it is it clear you can try it then you will come to know You, whether you are able to solve these questions without using your pen and paper or not okay so answer for this question is nothing but 46 years very very simple let us look at one more question and one more important thing if you like this video click on the like button and try to share this video with as many friends as possible so that it will be very supportive for us and it will be very boost up for us also so that we'll be coming across with best content which is going to be helpful for you in competitive exams okay don't forget to share with all your friends who are preparing for competitive exams 
Next one, average age of A, B, C is 10 years less than age of C. If ratio of age of A, B, C is 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. Look here, here ratio of age, it was mentioned. But whether it is present age or whether it is after 5 years or whether it is 3 years ago, nothing was mentioned. If nothing was mentioned, you are supposed to take it as present age only. Is it clear? Very important point. If nothing was mentioned, you are supposed to take present age only. Present age ratio of ABC is 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. We are supposed to know what is the sum of age of A and C. So we are supposed to know sum of ages of AC. Sum of ages of AC. Now observe carefully in the question ABC age ratio was mentioned. Yes. What is ABC age ratio? ABC age ratio is 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. Yes or no? 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. We are supposed to find sum of ages of AC. Which means sum of present ages of AC. Nothing was mentioned means present age. Now observe it carefully. Present age of A should be multiple of 3. Present age of C should be multiple of 5. Sum means 3 plus 5. That is going to be 8 parts. 8 parts means our answer should be multiple of 8. Yes or no? Our answer should be multiple of 8. Let us check. 80 is multiple of 8. 72 is multiple of 8. 85 is not multiple of 8. 78 is not multiple of 8. Which means out of 4 options, 2 options are eliminated. And we are left with 2 more options. Yes? Now read the information, whatever that you have extra in the question. We have some more information. If you observe in the question, it is clearly said, average age of ABC, average age of ABC is 10 years less than age of C. Look, average age of ABC is 10 years less than age of C. Now observe carefully. If you observe carefully, average age of ABC means 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5, these are nothing but ages ratio, which means average of 3, 4, 5 is what? 3, 4, 5, average is nothing but 4, which means middle term. Why means 3, 4, 5 are in arithmetic progression. When the given series is in arithmetic progression, average is nothing but middle term. So middle term means 4, which means average age of ABC is going to be 4 parts. And age of C is going to be 5 parts. And in the question, it is clearly said that average age of ABC is 10 years, 10 years less than age of C. So 10 years less than age of C means difference between average and age of C is going to be 10 years. Yes or no? Now observe carefully. We know that average of ABC in terms of parts, it is 4 parts. C's age in terms of parts, 5 parts. Difference between these two is going to be 1 part. So 1 part equal to 10 years. If 1 part is 10 years, we are supposed to know sum of ages of AC. Sum of ages of AC is 8 parts. So 8 into 10, we can say answer is going to be 80 years. So 72 is also eliminated. Is it clear? Very, very simple. Just a fraction of seconds. Everything is given in the question itself. And this one also exact question that came in examination. You will have complete information in the question itself. But you are supposed to be in a position to understand the question carefully and collect the key point that was mentioned in the question. If you are able to collect the key points that is mentioned in the question, then obviously you can solve these questions in fraction of seconds without using your pen and paper. Average of 3, 4, 5. I can say average of 3, 4, 5 is nothing but 4. Which means average is 4. And C age is 5 parts. 4 parts, 5 parts difference is 1 part. In the question, it is clearly said that average of ABC is 10 years less than age of C. Which means difference in terms of years is 10 years. Difference in terms of parts is 1 part. So 1 part is 10 years. We are supposed to know age of AC together. Age of AC is nothing but total 8 parts. 8 parts means 8 into 10, 80 years. Just a fraction of seconds. Always you have to be smart and unique. You have to be smart and unique. Once if you are smart and unique, then you can save lot of time in examination. When thousands, lakhs of students are writing examination, then why only you need to get the job? Just think of that. Why you need to get the job means then definitely you have to work hard. You have to be unique. You have to be smart. You have to spend lot of time for the purpose of practice. You have to come across with many innovative thinkings. 
which is going to helpful for you in examination. When you are doing lot of hard work, lot of smart work, if you are going to do all of this, then only you are going to get success. Why means we know that there is a huge competition. Any exam, whatever the examination you are going to write, there is a huge competition. In this huge competition, if you are going to be one out of those selected students means definitely your hard work, your smart work, your guidance and how well you are practicing, what are the approaches, how much time you are spending, how much time you are spending for questions, how much time you are spending every day, all these are going to play a vital role. Whoever is going to work hard, work smart and they are going to practice regularly, only for them success is going to come in this competition. Why means there is a huge competition for competitive exams, yes or no? Let us look at the next question. Shushil got married 6 years ago. His age is 7 by 6 times of his age at the time of his marriage. 3 years ago, his son was 3 years old. The ratio of his son and Sushil at present. So we are supposed to know present age ratio of Sushil's son and Sushil. Okay. So we are supposed to know Sushil's son and Sushil age ratio. This is very, very simple question. Even in this question also, complete information is given in the question itself. But most of the students, they don't understand the question carefully. That is the reason competitive examination, it's all about reading the question carefully, understand the question carefully. Once if you are able to understand question and if you are able to collect the key points, then it is very simple to mark the answer. Look here, it is very clearly said that Sushil got married 6 years ago. So 6 years ago, Sushil got married. His age is 7 by 6 times of his age at the time of his marriage. Which means it is said that present age of Sushil is 7 by 6 times of his age at the time of marriage which means which means this is present age yes or no this is present age and this is at the time of marriage present age of Sushil is 7 parts and age of Sushil at the time of marriage is 6 parts now difference between these two is going to be how many parts one part yes or no difference between these two is one part and it's very clear that Sushil got married 6 years ago which means age difference in terms of parts is one part. Age difference in terms of years is six years. So one part is equal to six years. If one part is six years, then I can say present age of Sushil is going to be seven parts. Seven parts means seven into six, that is going to be 42 years. So Sushil present age is 42 years. I need to know son present age. In the question it is clearly said, Three years ago, his son was three years old. Three years ago, his son was three years old means three years back three years. Then what is the present age? Three plus three, it is going to be six years. Yes or no? Let us say three years back, my age is 24 years. If three years back, my age 24 means now it is going to be 24 plus three, 27. Similarly, here also three years back, son's age is three years. Now will be, what is the age means? 3 plus 3, 6 years. Now calculate the ratio. If you calculate the ratio, what happened? 6 cancels here, 1 time. 6 cancels here, 7 times. So ratio is going to be 1 ratio 7. Just a fraction of second. Complete information is given in the question itself. So it's very clearly mentioned that what is his age present and what is the age when he was got married. Ratio was mentioned very clearly. Ratio was 7, ratio 6. And it is very clearly said that he got married six years back, which means difference in terms of parts is one part, difference in terms of years is six years, one part is six years. If one part is six years, we are supposed to know present is a Sushil, present is seven parts, seven into six, 42 years. So Sushil age present is 42 years. Sushil son age is nothing but six years. Six ratio of 42, which is same as one ratio seven. Okay. Complete information given in the question. Now, without understanding the question, what many students will do? They'll go on doing the rough work. No, you are not supposed to do that. Understanding the question is very, very important. Understanding the question. If you're able to understand the question, then obviously getting the answer is very easy. Without understanding the question, then how you are going to solve the question? You have to understand the question, read the question carefully, understand the question, what is given in the question, you have to understand this. Once if you are able to understand the information that is given in the question, then obviously solving questions will be very, very simple. Okay. Let us look at one more question. 
Sunita's age is 1 by 6th of her father's age. Which means Sunita's age will be 1 by 6th of her father's present age. So nothing was mentioned means here the information is about the present ages. Okay. Next. Her father's age will be twice the uh, twice of Varun's age after 10 years. After 10 years, her father's age will be twice of Varun's age it seems. If Varun's 8th birthday was celebrated 2 years ago, very important point. Varun's 8th birthday was celebrated 2 years ago, then what is Sunita's present age? So, we are supposed to know Sunita's present age. Observe carefully. In this question, if you need to find Sunita's age means, first you need to know father's age. If you need to know father's age means, first you need to know Varun's age. Once if you know Varun's age, based upon Varun's age, you can say father's age. Once if you know father's age, then automatically you can say Sunita's age. Yes. First of all, try to know what is Varun's age. It is very clearly said, Varun's 8th birthday was celebrated 2 years ago. Which means, 2 years ago, Varun celebrated 8th birthday means, Varun's age was 8 years when 2 years ago. 2 years ago, 8 years means present, it should be 8 plus 2, 10 years. Yes, which means Varun's present age is going to be 10 years. Okay, Varun's present age. Actually, this question can be done orally without using pen and paper. But as you guys need to understand, that is the reason I am using pen and paper. Okay, so Varun's present age is going to be 10 years. Now, what it is said in the question, her father's age will be twice of Varun's age after 10 years. Now, present age is 10 years means, Varun's present age 10 years means, after 10 years, after 10 years, Varun's age will be how much? 10 plus 10, 20. Yes. If Varun's age is 20 means, father's age should be double. So, father's age should double means, 20 double that is going to be 40, which means father's age is going to be 40 years after 10 years. But we are supposed to know what is Sunita's present age. If I need to know what is Sunita's present age means, first of all, I need to know what is father's present age. Father's age after 10 years is 40. After 10 years, 40 means present age of father is going to be 30. Present age of father 30 means it is very clearly said that Sunita's age is 1 by 6th of father. So 1 by 6th of father means 1 by 6 into father's age is going to be 30. So 30 cancels in 6. How many times? 5 times. So we can say Sunita's present age is going to be 5 years. Is that clear? Very, very simple. And truly speaking, all this information we need not write. But as I was explaining you, each and every student should be clear. That is the reason I have written very clearly. But this question can be done orally. If Varun celebrated his 8th birthday 2 years back means, Varun's present age is going to be 10 years. If Varun's present age is 10 years means, after 10 years, Varun's age will be 20 years. And it's very clear that father's age is going to be twice of Varun's age after 10 years. So 20 double will be 40. So father's age is going to be 40 years when? After 10 years. After 10 years, 40 means present age is going to be 30 years. Father's present is 30 years. If father's present is 30 years, Sunita's age is 1 by 6 of father. So 1 by 6 of 30. 1 by 6 of 30 means 5. Which means Sunita's present is going to be 5 years. Is that clear? Very, very simple question. So let us look at one more question. The sum of ages of 5 children born at the regular intervals of 3 years each is 50 years. Find out the age of youngest child. So we are supposed to find the age of youngest child. Actually, this question is also very simple question. You can just mark the question in fraction of seconds. But what most of the students will do is like, they will, uh, as they does not know when the smallest child was born, they will take the smallest child as X. After every three years, new child born, yes or no? So, first child X means, next child it will be X plus 3, next child it will be X plus 6, next child it will be X plus 9, Next child, it will be x plus 12. Yes or no? Total how many children? 5 children. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total 5 children. Every 3 years, every 3 years, new child born. First child, x years means next child, x plus 3 years. Next child, x plus 6 years. Next child, x plus 9 years. Next child, x plus 12 years. Yes or no? Now, what they are saying, sum of their ages, sum of their ages is going to be how much? Sum of their ages is nothing but 50 years. Now, what many students will do? They will do sum and they will equal it to 50 and they will find the value of x and then they will say what is the age of youngest child yes or no then they will say what is the age of the youngest child yes but truly speaking if you are going to do this in examination it is going to waste lot of time in examination yes or no if you are really smart 
it is very clear that sum is 50 yes or no sum is 50 if sum is 50 what is average average of five children is going to be 50 by 5 that is going to be 10 years yes or no which means average of five children is nothing but 10 years it is very clear that x x plus 3 x plus 6 x plus 9 x plus 12 this is in arithmetic progression yes or no as the given series is in arithmetic progression average is nothing but middle term middle term is nothing but x plus 6 so x plus 6 is nothing but 10 if x plus 6 is 10 then what is the value of x value of x is nothing but 4 years yes or no so you can directly say answer is going to be 4 years you need not calculate it you need not elaborate it nothing is required competitive exams no one will check your rough sheet how much paperwork we, we you have done will anyone check it no one will check it after completion of your examination you'll throw it in the dustbin so always you have to avoid paperwork if you have to avoid paperwork means definitely you have to be smart yes or no if you are smart only then you can avoid paperwork so try to be smart try to be unique so that you can avoid paperwork if you're going to avoid paperwork then obviously you can save lot of time in examination is it clear so answer for this question is going to be four years okay so with this we are going to end the session and if you're looking for more videos you can download channel noise app from google play store if you have any doubts you can contact through these numbers and don't forget to like our video if you like this session and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you like these videos try to share these videos with as many friends as possible why means if you're going to share these videos with as many friends as possible then it is going to be a boost up for us encouragement for us and we are going to come across with best unique contents which are going to be helpful for us that is the reason i request each and every student to try to share these videos with as many friends as possible try to share in facebook groups whatsapp group telegram group try to share with maximum person so that it is going to be helpful for us and we are going to come across with more and more unique techniques which are going to be helpful for you in examination okay and as the situations are not good try to be safe at your home meet in the next session thank you have a nice day bye bye